Yang. Still here, Eric Aubameyang, that's a wonderful finish. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jung Fung, and we're back at it with another one. I'm about to talk to you today about... Just look at the title, man. Look at the title. Hey, you already know. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, without further ado, you know how we do it. Let's get into it. So the 10th highest paid footballer from Africa is Sadio Mane. He plays as a winger for both the Senegalese national team and Liverpool. Sadio Mane signed a $34 million deal in 2016 with Liverpool and he helped them win the Champions League in 2019. He makes £100,000 per week. How did Keita become one of the hottest talents in world football? Next we have Nebi Keita. Nebi Keita is a Guinean football professional who plays for the Guinea national team and Liverpool as a central midfielder. He debuted with the Guinea national team in 2012 but he moved to Liverpool in 2017 in a $48 million deal. He makes £120,000 weekly. Wilfred Zayas a forward for Crystal Palace who was born in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. He also plays for the Côte d'Ivoire national team and he rejoined Crystal Palace in 2015 after he was there in 2014 for a year-long contract on loan. He's the club's 12th highest goal scorer and makes £130,000 per week. The first thing I bought, I remember I went to Harrods with that £250 of Gucci belt. Nicolas Pepe is a French-born Ivorian international who signed for Arsenal in 2019 for a club record £72 million. He joined the Ivory Coast national team in 2016 and makes £140,000 per week. Odion Igalo is a Nigerian professional footballer who plays for the Nigerian national team and Al-Shabaab in Saudi Arabia. He transferred to Al-Shabaab in 2021 after being on a temporary loan at Manchester United. He makes £180,000 per week. Club, I would say... So the fifth most paid African football player is Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez is a French-born Algerian international who plays with Man City and captains the Algerian national team. He joined the Man City side in 2018 and he has won three Premier League titles throughout his career, two with Manchester City and one with Leicester City. He makes £200,000 per week. So in fourth place, we have Thomas Partey from Ghana. He plays for the Ghanaian national team and Arsenal. He made a $45 million transfer to Arsenal in 2018, becoming the most expensive Ghanaian player of all time. He makes £200,000 weekly. Next, we have Mohamed Salah. Mo Salah is an Egyptian professional footballer who plays as a winger for Liverpool and the Egyptian national team. He's been in excellent form, scoring 15 goals in the Premier League and 22 total goals this season for both club and country. He's widely regarded as the best player right now. He earns £200,000 per week. Look down, you can't see anyone, so I just leave it like that. I don't want uh, my wife to cut it, so I prefer it to keep it like that. In second place, we have Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He's a French-born Gabonese international who plays for Arsenal and the Gabon national team. He captains the Gabon national team but has recently been stripped of his duties as Arsenal captain. He's in great scoring form and makes £250,000 per week. Direction Madrid, justement, pour uh, la visite médicale. So finally, the player from Africa who gets the highest pay weekly, it's Cedric Bakambu. He plays for the DRC national team and the Chinese side Beijing Guan. He initially played for the France under 20s but made his debut as a DRC national player in 2015. He makes 307k per week. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for staying to the end of the video and if at any point I said dollars I actually meant pounds. Hey, thank you for sticking around and until next time, I love you.